transportation reporter John Dokovich is here. Now, uh, why don't we tell you, this is the UFO story that uh, was mentioned on the Colbert Report last night. This is, uh, what, a four-year-old story? Yeah, the story ran uh, January 1st, 2007. Uh, based on a uh, alleged incident that occurred at O'Hare above gate C-17 on November 7, 2006. A uh, reason there was a, a several month lag in us reporting it or even deciding whether to report it at all was that I had to track down the, uh, the witnesses of this alleged incident. And what fascinated me was the fact that these were all such credible observers. These were pilots, these were ramp uh, workers and, and uh, mechanics who were jockeying planes uh, back and forth from the hangar, who all, down to a person, reported the exact same sighting, this metallic gray uh, spear shape or disc-shaped object hovering stationary in place about 1,500 feet above gate C-17. And then they all described this uh, departure where it just left suddenly with such velocity and speed that it poked this donut-shaped hole in what was otherwise a very uh, cloud-covered sky that day. Huh. So it's an intriguing story. Right. Uh, that, it that you reported the Tribune, and then and its new life is what? Well, its new life is uh, there's a new book by an author named Leslie Keene, and Miss Keene was on the Colbert Report last night. And uh, she brought up the O'Hare sighting, in which uh, Stephen Colbert said he had never heard of it, so he asked, how do I find that on Google? And that unleashed uh, uh, the, the floodgates. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this morning, uh, did, did you watch the Colbert Report last night? I did not. So uh, how did you find out about this? Well, two ways. Uh, one, I got an early morning call from a producer at WGN Radio asking me to come on. Uh -huh. And I had just had my first cup of coffee. Uh, so I was like, okay, so what's the news here? This is almost a four-year-old story. And then shortly after that, I received, as I do almost every day, uh, emails uh, from UFO enthusiasts and researchers um, who were uh, talking about this uh, re the Colbert report uh, the previous night. So I quickly got up to speed. <clears throat> Let me re repeat that. I quickly got up to speed on uh, what was happening. Uh -huh. so, uh, so let me ask you, in this event, uh, what is the most credible aspect of this event? I think you, maybe we're getting into this. The most credible aspect of this reported you know, UFO sighting is? Well, the, uh, the most credible part is that uh, pilots, numerous pilots, including the two pilots of, uh, at C-17, opened their windows and peered out the cockpit and both saw in great detail, uh, you know, what, what they, you know, perceived to be a UFO. And uh, they said it couldn't have been a light show. It could not have been a weather phenomenon, as the FAA later uh, said it must have been. And uh, I have documentation uh, between uh, United Airlines managers to their bosses saying we've received reports of this from our employees. What do we do? Some of these employees were brought in, interviewed, even uh, asked to draw sketches of what they saw. So what's equally important is not just the, the, the caliber of these witnesses, but uh, the Tribune's ability to document, uh, for better, no better word, a cover-up by both United Airlines and the FAA, because when I went to both parties, they flatly said they knew nothing about this, that my call was the first information they received. And in fact, I have correspondence that shows that they clearly were told about it, and uh, communicated internally and externally about it. And so what is the, uh, is, is there anything that blows a hole in this thing? Well, what blows a hole in this theory is that no air traffic controller saw it, uh, that nobody with a camera phone at O'Hare happened to snap a picture of this, and, uh, you know, this, uh, this spaceship, if it was so, uh, is, is long gone. So an alien abduction, Case, uh, but in, a, in the figurative sense, it has abducted your day. <laughs> it has abducted my day. I uh, have put aside two or three other stories and I'm working on this today.